Irish Language of Fans, another re review from my previous channel. They're playing with fire. Let's check it out. It's hard to see, but that's actually Sybil Danning. She plays Diane Stevens. Fills out a bikini nicely and also teaches college. She has some work for her student, Jay, played by Eric Brown. Still looking for work? Oh, yeah. You come and see me in my office. You made any commitments? Cynthia's former girl. And I'll be whoever I want. He broke up. Let's just be friends, okay? You're playing with fire, Jay. Oh, my. She apparently wants him to paint her boat. Belongs to her and her husband, who's also a teacher. Can't remember a hotter day. Me either. You look as though you could use a break. Wanna have a nice cold drink with me? He takes her up on that drink. Why are you so afraid of me? But I think I'm she not. has more on her mind. You don't like me, do you? Oh no, I like you a lot. Prove it. Oh. Was that? Here. Come on. Things progress rather quickly, and I, I can't show you much more. Hey, listen, I won't be able to pay. Now she has a favor to ask. It's an indefinite loan. <laughs> What's the catch, Diane? I want you to do me a favor. Try. I think we'd better find somebody else. That's her husband. You know it's not that easy. You gotta be careful who we get involved with here. I think we can trust him. Michael, I want control of that money now. You gotta inherit everything anyway. When? Look, I want that money as much as you, but we've gotta be patient. They want him to scare his mother and grandmother. He doesn't want to do it. What do you mean? Look, Jay, it's no big deal. You just go there and make some noises after they go to bed. Scare them like you're a virgin. So he does that. Basically, they want them to be scared so that they move into a retirement home and then they'll inherit everything. But his mother's not overly scared. He was in the house, but he had to run away when she pulled out the shotgun. But moments later, after he leaves and she picks up the phone, somebody grabs that gun and shoots her. And then turns the gun on grandma who is our mysterious killer you know you can trust me you're so nervous are you hiding anything from me no i told you everything exactly as it happened they all go to the house here's your tv set michael all right jay tell us the truth i did you're lying you didn't harm them, did you? What are you talking about? No bodies were found. And meanwhile, ex-girlfriend Cynthia has pictures of him and Sybil Danning on the boat. Put your feet. I'm Michael. Housekeeper, George. Mother asked me to check the house. Have they gone somewhere? Yeah, they went to Hawaii. How come your mom didn't tell me? Jay decides to investigate on his own. Why do you keep insisting we're involved? Who else would want them out of the way? What were you doing downstairs? Finding proof that Michael murdered them. Okay. Jay thinks Michael did it. Michael perhaps thinks Jay did it. Maybe Diane did it? Who knows who did it? 
but it's time to do it. It's a little dark and hard to see, but it looks like uh, Jay has broken into their house. Perhaps looking for more evidence. And gets attacked by somebody. Meanwhile, Jay's ex-girlfriend also goes over there the next day. And is killed by Santa Claus. Back to Jay. You okay? So glad you're here. Mike and I are through. I'm divorcing him. Are you sure that's what you really want? Jay has fallen hard for Diane. I need you. You're my friend. I love you. Michael shows up, but so does our killer. So we know now that Michael is not the killer. It doesn't look like either of them are either. And the chase is on. We get our big reveal. Apparently, Michael had a brother. Doctor told me my disease is terminal. Mr. Johnson, where's your mother and grandmother? What did you do to them? She didn't tell me I was dying because it's her fault. I don't think you have to worry about her anymore. You don't want me. His name is Martin. Nobody wants me. You want the money. Come on, Martin. Hand it to me, I said. Who knew I was going to die? The second birthday. Our son Martin and his new stroller, two years. In all these years, Michael thought he was an only child. take off his mask, he recognizes it as this guy he knows named Bird. Our movie ends on, with, with our Diane Where are we going? Hawaii. pulling up and taking him away from his job and his life into a life of luxury. Let's talk about this movie. They're playing with fire. It stars Eric Brown and Sybil Danny and Andrew Prine. Andrew Prine, you might remember from Simon King of the Witches. He was Simon King of the Witches. Sybil Danny, you might remember from various German titty movies from the early 70s, um, as well as a lot of like um, uh, low budget B exploitation films in the 80s, too. Howling 2, Sisters of Werewolf. And of course, Eric Brown, you might remember as. Um, Philly in Private Lessons, a movie I reviewed earlier on this channel. So in this movie, he gets uh, seduced by Sybil Danning. How about that guy? 
Eric Brown. First he gets Sylvia Crystal and then Sybil Danning. What an acting career he had. So, in this movie, he is a student in college. Uh, and he gets uh, basically seduced by his uh, teacher, uh, played by Sybil Danning. Says, hey, I have some work for you. Come over. And she basically wants to want him to paint his boat. But then when he's uh, on the boat, uh, she's wearing the skimpiest of bathing suits, a bikini. And then she takes him down below deck and they sleep together. Well, she turns out she wants to use him. Her and her husband want to use him. They have a plan to uh, put a scare into uh, uh, her husband's mother and grandmother. Um, somehow they want like this inheritance that she's going to have. Uh, I don't know exactly what, what the plan was there, but anyway, he goes over to try to scare them and they end up shooting at him. She has a gun. So he gets out of there, but then later on, somebody shoots the grandma and the, the great grandma, I should say, the mother and the grandmother, and um, he didn't do it. Um, but uh, they're missing, and then when uh, Sybil Danning's husband finds out, he's like, what did you do? Did you hurt them? Did you kill them? What's going on? And he's like, no, 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 and then he wants to call the police. Then they say, I'll call the police because I didn't do anything, and you wanted me to scare them, blah, blah, blah. So whatever, they all decide to lay low for a little while. And uh, they're going to try to figure out what the hell is going on. Well, um, long story short, uh, fast forward to the end. A few people end up dying along the way. It turns out that uh, Sybil Danning's husband had a uh, brother, a younger brother, who's been in a mental institution for 20 years or something. And he came back and he was he wanted the inheritance or something like that, too. He ends up killing everybody and he kills his brother and ultimately... Um, uh, Eric Brown's character ends up shooting him and uh, he dies and that's not quite how the film ends yet though uh, the last thing the movie shows uh, Sybil Danning driving up in this nice sports car she picks him up and they're going to go off to Mexico together or something like that who knows whatever that's how our movie ends so it's kind of like a, a thriller drama sexy film in fact this film is very similar to a lot of the movies that Cinemax would show in the 90s where it gained its Cinemax moniker uh, stuff like this uh uh, lower budget drama slash action slash thriller titty movies and Sybil Danning provides the titties in this movie and they're they're gigantic they're really big and and, and she has some nice nude scenes in here now um, I have a blu-ray on the way coming for this one as well so it's got to be a lot better looking than this one this one it was put out by uh new star video it looks more just like a VHS rip Kino Lorber put out a DVD and a Blu-ray of this. Um, I'm guessing those look a hell of a lot better. So that's what you want to grab if you want to get this movie. Um, it's a little nostalgic for me because I saw this when I was a kid. It was, you know, it wasn't quite in the same vein as like my tutor and joysticks and private lessons, for example, and Porky's. But it was a similar vein that because Simple Danning looks great naked, like I said. Now, interestingly, I read uh, that there's an interview on the Blu-ray of Sybil Danning, and she said uh, where she got along with Andrew Prine, great. She said um, Eric Brown seemed a little repulsed by her, which I don't get. Now, you know, I looked it up. He was 20 years old when he made this movie, still young. Um, and But uh, Sybil Danning was no uh, old chick at that time. Either. She was 32 years old, and she looked fantastic. And, and she, she kind of made it out like, uh, you know, he was kind of sickened to have these love scenes with her. I don't get it, but whatever, right? I mean, she couldn't have been... She was probably younger than uh, Sylvia Crystal was when she made Private Lessons, but who knows, whatever. Anyway, that's it. They're playing with fire. Again, it's it's an okay film. A little silly, but whatever, right? And Sybil Danning's got some great nude scenes. So check it out. Leave some comments. Let me know what you think of it. By the way, Eric Brown, I looked him up. He uh, only did like a handful of acting roles. Then he went on to become, I don't know, it's like he's like some motivational speaker or something like that. He has his own website, and there's a weird story about when he, how he was a little kid. He uh, found a chicken. It was like in New York City or something. He found a chicken, and he made the newspaper. Anyway, check it out yourself. Leave some comments. They're playing with fire. Watch it. Bye.